Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. So I'm going to be recording this intro before the Expansive Worlds livestream today. So I'm going to be just extremely busy today as I'm preparing to go hunting in real life this weekend and next week. So I'm just not going to have a lot of time to record after the stream has ended. But anyway, the live stream, they're going to be focusing on the new Labrador Retriever, which I am very excited about. I can't wait to see it in action. It's just really exciting. But anyway, that is pretty much going to do it here for the intro. I don't really have a lot to say, but I am going to leave you with the highlights from the EW live stream. If you want to check it out in its entirety, there will be a link in the description for you to check out their channel. But I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Let me introduce you to your newest best friend. None other than the new Labrador Retrievers. You guys, it's really cool. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that this dog could do that uh, makes it kind of a super dog compared to what our bloodhounds can do but of course we'll get a few of the things out of the way here first you can choose between a cute little female a lovely little male and now let me show you all of these beautiful fur variations uh, so you can absolutely customize it and make it your own i think i kind of like the chocolate i don't know it's so tough you know little red fox here charcoal we got champagne, champagne and caviar dreams, baby. It's just so bloody cute. I have sat and stared at this, you guys, dang near for hours on end. Um, I would also like to say something coming with this update that I know is going to excite a number of you guys. Um, you now have the ability to rename your dogs. Let's go! Yes, sir! I mean, come on, that is low-key one of the best things to come to the game. There's so many of us that wanted to be able to rename your dog. You will now have that ability with this update. Uh, I mean, it's very low-key. I get that. I may be a little too excited about it. But, uh, you know, if you happen to screw up and name it a bunch of letters, you'll be able to go ahead and, and, and hit that rename option. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let's see here. Now, I guess for the sake of our uh, presentation, should we uh, should we rock with old yellow because it's kind of the standard? Uh, I'm going with chocolate. It's just it's got to happen. Oh, oh, oh! Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Hmm. Let me take a look. In fact, you will be able to name your dog, choose its fur coat variation, and assign traits that will match your hunting style. Of course, we knew this. Players can pet it, give it treats, or play with it. In turn, as they get to know each other and hunt more often, dog's efficiency will improve over time, much like with the bloodhound. Uh, <laughs> look, I got to tell you the coolest thing about this dog. Okay, straight up. I wanted to show you. I'm just going to tell you. And then we'll show you once we get the DLC unlocked. I can't afford it, apparently. These dogs can swim. Straight up and down. Um, and the cutest thing absolutely ever that I've ever seen in a video game is watching your dog fast foot it through the edges of a waterway and watch it play. It is unbelievable. But the fact that this dog can swim... Uh, it, it, it gives us a lot more ability. It gives us the, 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 the functionality that you would expect from a retriever. You don't have to wait for it to hit shore and the dog jump in. Uh, this actually took a fair bit of development. There is as much work that goes into creating a dog as there is a reserve. To an extent, now let me explain. Um, I've had the chance actually to speak with a lot of our devs and really to get some incredible input. And what I have learned is so, as much as we said with the Emerald Coast, how there was how they were able to strategically plan releases so that they were able to put more time and effort and create that better quality. We saw that. We saw that with Emerald Coast. So that is what is happening right now. It was all hands on deck as soon as Emerald Coast was done. But those team members they didn't all need to be on the dog. There was a ton of development that went into this dog, but a lot of the crafts were able to divert their energies and have 
already, as we've told you, been working on the next reserve. Hey, man, I really wouldn't. The blood clues will tell you how well you placed your shot. Holy! Can I get zero, please? Well, we got one down. Doggo, it's time to do your stuff. All right, so pretty easy to use, guys. You look in the general direction. Hit it, buddy. Your time to shine. Now, as with the Bloodhound, the happier your dog is, the more bond your dog has, the better they're going to perform. So you want to make sure you're carrying around those treats, give it a little bit of love, and, of course, always pay attention to its focus and its bonding. See, right now he's content. So he might wander. He might have a little bit of a, oh, I wasn't even watching you. And he came and he dropped it right in front of me. He's a proud boy right here. He's a proud boy. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you the beautiful thing with this. He will do this. If you have a hundred birds out there, you can send that dog out and, and get them to bring them all back. It's one at a time. He's not going to put all 100 in his mouth. That's for dang sure. Um, it works in blinds. It works in all kinds of setups. Uh, it's pretty dang cool. I love these golden eye. Vivi, you're still sitting here with me. Is that not just such an incredible model? I know this isn't what we're here for, but come on, man. It's gorgeous. Isn't yeah. that? I can confirm. Man alive. That's awesome. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. I understand. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Now, what we'll do here, um, obviously, you all know... The money we release get is real close. Animals. I'm not going to have a chance to get home onto my PC with my setup. I'd love to get you in the water. Tell me you're in the water. Go on, buddy. Do your thing. Do your thing. It didn't quite make the water. But, uh... There it is, man. Does that not look great? He's not shy. There's no obstacle to get in his way. <laughs> I love it. I freaking love it. Oh, my God. Uh, big shout out to our devs. Uh, there was extra love and time that went into this one with the new dog animations. There it is. Um, there's a whole lot of things. There's, uh, there's more stuff for you guys to explore. I'm not going to show you absolutely everything. Um, this changes waterfowl hunting. You can climb into a blind and never have to leave. You can absolutely slay the skies until your heart content. And this beautiful companion, whatever fur variation you decide to go with, and I can't wait to see what the community favorites turn into. Uh, will absolutely do work for you. Um, you want to see the furs again. Yeah, the I think we're good. we got we got time. We'll go and show the furs. Uh, it, this isn't about me trying to hunt on a uh, different rig. If you need that extra bit of stability, try holding. Okay, maybe it is. One Just more. Don't do it for too long. It's in the water. This is why. Go on, buddy. Go on, buddy. Yeah, he did. Just take a moment and realize how far we have come in this game. I Look, I've been here for almost six years, my friends. I have seen the Bloodhound introduced. I've seen all these reserves brought in. I've seen new features. I've seen bugs. I've seen fixes. I have seen it all. I did not ever think that even if we got a retriever, that we would ever have this functionality right here. Do you know how far it retreats? Um, I do believe you're good to about 100 meters or more. It might even go up to 150. I'm not 100% positive on that. I don't want to quote. I know I've seen, uh, when I saw our, our testers were out there having so much fun with this. Listen, our testers got so addicted to this dog that when they, because they're, they're from our community, and they, they, they felt lost without it when they went back. 
And I, when I saw that kind of sentiment, I thought, this is incredible. Yes, you're such a good boy. <laughs> the traits folks are wanting to see what we've got. And um, I guess let's let's go through and take a look. So I did quickly touch on these. Unfortunately, there's not a lot I can give you here, but we can give you some descriptions. You can see at the level five, we've got loving. You have an even more loving relationship with your dog, which increases its overall bond. Or of course, you have the strong trait. Uh, the dog is less burdened by carrying harvests. Something for you guys to explore there. You twisted my arm, and I wasn't going to go through all of this, but we will. We will. Level 10, you're going to find the sixth sense. Your dog has a higher chance of sensing when an animal is about to be spooked. And your dog is able to fetch arrows uh, that it can reach. Only works with the recycle perk. Are we on? We are on the retriever. Your dog will held like a wolf on command. Your dog will run further away in a search. Something to retrieve. Okay, this is bold is a good one. This is something. I, it's really, it's going to be very similar to what we saw with the Bloodhound and how you try to make your builds. Now, because you can have multiple dogs and, you know, 45K sounds like a lot, but really that's, you know, 45 kills, essentially. Um, you'll be able to customize these. Sharp, your dog is naturally more willing to work and has increased focus. Control if the idle, or sorry, if idle, your dog will go into the heel position when you fire your weapon. That is actually very handy. I kind of I kind of like that. Yes, the retrieving arrows. I tried to skim past that one rather quickly. I figured, of course you caught it, Mel. Of course you caught it. You are always so detail-driven. Close, your dog has a higher chance of staying close to you couple of those two together but the web pause is kind of cool not that you're ever in a massive rush um but due to the fact that your dog can swim and if that harvest is way out there it could be a big time saver so that'll be a tough one it depends on which way your build's gonna go of course if you get to level 30 you've got your dog has a chance to ward off the predator attacks yep I shouldn't have read these because <laughs> they, they would have lost their mind when they saw some of this stuff because that's low key game changer. That actually gives you a reason to have your retriever running around when you're out hunting some wolves. Just don't tell anyone guys. Oh okay, yeah. Don't, don't say a thing. And of course the retriever your dog retrieves at longer distances and is less burdened by carrying harvests. I, I don't have all the numbers with you, but I do believe you're between 70 and 100 meters to start. 